About the claim that Islam was spread by the sword, this is one of the most fantastic falsehoods that ke keeps getting repeated again and again. And all you have to ask is, where was Islam forced on people? Just where? And just study the history of that place. Is that really true? When we look at how Islam says it should be spread, there's nothing in Islam saying you should force people to accept Islam. It's the opposite. You only fight those who fight you, the Quran says. There is no compulsion in religion. You can't force people. And if people want to follow idol worship, etc., the Quran says, Lakum dinukum waliya deen. You have your religion, I have mine. So there's nothing about forced conversion to one religion or another. When we come to look at the historical data, there are places that have the highest population of Muslims in the world today, places like Indonesia. Not a single Muslim soldier ever went there to fight anybody. When we look at Islam as the fastest growing religion in the world today, even in the West, even in places like in the UK, Europe, America, etc., what makes Islam the fastest growing religion in those areas? Nobody is fighting, nobody is forcing others to convert to Islam. At those times in Islamic history where there was the greatest peace was when actually we had the fastest spread of Islam. And so Islam has always wanted peace because that is what is even convenient for the spread of Islam. So anybody trying to claim, oh, but Muslims conquered here, Muslims conquered there, it's just the way British conquered Nigeria. But many of the British didn't force Muslims to accept Christianity. However, there are those schools and missionary schools where they did try to force Muslim children to accept uh, their own religion. However, we would say when we look at the teachings of Islam and the teachings of Christianity, forcing people has not been an active teaching of the religion when it comes to Islam.